I seem to be the only person out here shilling X Whelan's rootful mode, and I don't understand why. It is an incredibly useful feature that I wish more people knew about. For the uninitiated, X Whelan typically runs in what is known as rootless mode. This has nothing to do with the root of your system. When X Whelan is in rootless mode, the Whelan compositor is what handles the window management of the application. Now in rootful mode, this is a lot more akin to say Wine's desktop mode where instead of the application just being in a window by itself, you have the entire X11 desktop available and then the application can be moved around inside of that. It's not something that most of you are going to use on a day-to-day -day basis, but in cases like handling a multi-window application or X11 forwarding where you want the entire desktop available, it is incredibly useful to know about. And whilst I'm sure there are other great developers involved, recently I've been highlighting the work of one person in particular, that being Olivia Forden. You may have seen me recently talk about blog posts like this one, X Whale and Rootful, going over a bunch of the new additions that make X Whale and Rootful mode so much more useful than it was before. Now, today, we are not going to be talking about a blog post. Instead, we're going to be talking about something that happened on the free desktop mailing list. Recently, a useful set of utils were announced, those being X Wayland Run, WL Headless Run, and XWFB Run. They were announced in introducing X Wayland Run, a set of small utilities to run X11 and Wayland clients. That by itself doesn't really sound that exciting. But the actual use of them is another story. Hi all. In Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, we ship a small shell script called XVFB run, originating from Debian to launch an X11 client within XVFB. Okay, before we go any further, I think I need to explain what the hell that means. So the full name of XVFB is X Virtual Frame Buffer, and taken from the man page, XVFB is an X server that can run on machines with no display hardware and no physical input devices. It emulates a dumb frame buffer using virtual memory. The primary use of this server was intended to be server testing. The FB code for any depth can be exercised with this server without the need for real hardware that supports the desired depths. The X community has found many other novel uses for XVFB, including testing clients against unusual depths and screen configurations, doing batch processing with XVFB as a background rendering engine, load testing as an aid to porting the X server to a new platform, and providing an unobtrusive way to run applications that don't really need an X server, but insist on having one anyway. Which frankly is an excessively long way to say this is an X server that specializes in headless X11. As such, including additional options like setting a virtual screen size so if you're doing some testing, for example, you can make sure an application actually functions correctly at that size. Whilst X Wayland is an X server, it's not XVFB, so you could, you know, add the functionality directly into it, or maybe there is another solution. So, with the future removal of XORG and all related X servers in RHEL except X Wayland, there was a need for a replacement utility that would work like XVFB Run, but without XVFB. The idea is to run X Wayland Rootful within a Wayland Compositor headless as a replacement for XVFB. The problem though is that I didn't want to be tied to a specific Wayland Compositor, and of course, every Wayland Compositor uses different options to run headless. Every so often someone asks me, is there a way to do headless Wayland? Yes, I can't tell you how to do it because everyone has a different solution for it. So if there was maybe a way to, you know, abstract that out so there's a single tool that does it everywhere, that would be nice. At the same time, I was also working on improving X Wayland root for support as we saw in blog posts like this one, and identified the need for a convenient utility to run an X11 client within its own X Wayland root for instance, useful to run a legacy game, for example, as with this one. So this user is trying to run this on GNOME 44, and this is an old game that has zero scaling. It runs at the resolution that it runs at. And for some reason, it does this. Instead of having a window the size of the application, 
it has all of this black box around it, which is obviously not what you intend, but with a rootful window, it'll spawn on this like desktop looking thing and you can resize the window to bring it down to the size you actually want it to be. The reason why it brings up a convenient way to do it, right now running a rootful window is kind of a pain. Spawning the window is already weird enough, you've got to set a bunch of options you've probably never seen before, and some applications do have the ability to set which X11 display they're going to spawn on. The problem is the applications that don't. I don't know how to spawn most applications inside of a rootful window. Like, this is a problem, so if there is a way to automatically do all that magic, that would be super useful. Just for reference, rootful isn't the only way to deal with problems like this. The other option, as with most things related to games, just run it in Gamescope. I don't know what Magic Valve does to make Gamescope fix every single problem, but they're doing something and it will fix this one as well. So long story short, what started as a replacement utility for XVFB Run ended as three different yet related utilities. X Wayland Run to spawn an X11 client within its own dedicated X Wayland root, for instance. WL Headless Run to run a Wayland client on a set of supported Wayland Headless compositors. Right now, it supports four different Wayland compositors Western, Cage, Mutter, and Gnome Kiosk, but adding more should just be a matter of adding a relevant module. And XWFB Run, the W presumably meaning Wayland, a combination of the two other tools above to be used as a direct replacement for XVFB Run specifically. All of this code can currently be found over on a personal repo, and considering the fact that this is a fairly new project, it is quite well documented with everything clearly laid out, and if you want to go and try this for yourself, you can go and grab the source code and install it there. Now, I don't believe that anybody has packaged this yet. There may be an AUR package by the time this comes out, but the last time I checked, there wasn't. Once again, this is very, very new. And with this, it should have been the end of the story. So my question is, if there is any interest for such a project, should this be moved to the Whalen namespace in GitLab, we could even change the name of the project. Should that be added to the existing Whalen utility project that we already have? Or, if there's no interest, it's fine to stay in my own GitLab namespace for now. Cheers, Olivia. You know how I often talk about Wayland and pettiness? Well, that applies to the entire stack. Let's go up to the thread and the reply by Simon Sir. I'd prefer this to be kept in your personal namespace. I'd prefer not to make this an official Wayland project, Simon. Fair enough. Let's have a look why. Well, that was quick. If I may, would it be possible to elaborate on the rationale behind your opinion? Is that because there is no interest at all, because of the quality of the code, because of Python, or because it's partially about x and X11? There is a separate repo where it could exist as an X11 utility. I understand it may not be suitable as a project of its own within the Wayland space, but couldn't we consider adding these to the existing Wayland utils instead? So, let's have a look at Simon's reply. To me, the main downside is that this project has a hard-coded list of compositors. I don't think compositor-specific scripts are a good thing to have upstream. Totally reasonable concern, and I understand that. Now, moreover, last time I asked to make something an official Wayland project, if I remember correctly, Waypipe, the reply was no. I don't see why this one would be any different. So because my project wasn't made an official project, your project shouldn't be made an official project. <laughs> Man, I, I, I love the Whelan project. It's incredible. Now, other people were a bit more positive. Definitely needed for Firefox slash Whelan testing. Thanks for providing that. Thank you for writing this. This is great. I would love to see this in the Whelan namespace somehow. As an aside, it would be nice to see a collection of nice Wayland utilities to be in the Wayland FDO GitLab namespace to make it easier to discover. For example, as part of the discussion around Wayland only Plasma, I was surprised that people didn't know about things like Waypipe. There are so many people that don't know about Waypipe, which has existed for a long time, and another recent creation, WayCheck, is not easily discoverable. 
I still need to do my video on WeCheck. This tells you the protocols that are supported by your compositor. With one other person raising some fairly reasonable concerns. Maybe X Wayland Run and XWFB Run shouldn't be in the Wayland repo. Instead, they should be in the X server repo, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. As for WL Headless Run, I think this would belong fine in Wayland Utils, except for needing per compositor code in it. Having tools that depend on compositor specifics live in Wayland Utils would need a consensus agreement. I have nothing against that, but I also don't maintain Wayland Utils. Alternatively, maybe each compositor project should consider shipping a shortcut command for a headless instance, though that does make XWFB Run just eat the differences instead. Basically, maybe the projects should make it easier to do a headless instance. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Then a tool like this wouldn't be as necessary, but it still would be nice to abstract away that simplified complexity. As for the idea of moving them in the first place, when I was asking to have color and HDR documentation repository under any common GitLab group instead of my personal namespace, the answer was that it should first become a true community project that won't die as soon as I walk away from it. Will be interesting to see how much attention your scripts gain. Basically, other people should be working on the project before it gets moved into this more community namespace because if he decides, I'm just not going to work on it, then nobody's working on it. So hopefully if you're in need of something like this, somebody out there is also in need of it, and maybe goes and makes an AUR package. I'm not going to do that, because I don't need it. But maybe someone will. Look, at some, there are random things packaged on the AUR that nobody out there is using that I don't understand why there is a package for. It is just a matter of time. Maybe the developer will go and make a package. I have no idea. But let me know your thoughts down below. Is this a tool you would actually find yourself using? Do you make use of XVFB? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon subscribe to the Pay link in the description down below. I don't know what my hair is doing and I'm out.